everyone. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube. If you're brand new and we've never met, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary. I'm a professional tarot, intuitive, and astrologer. As you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be doing a pick a card reading of messages that is that you need to hear. If you are watching this from the future, this video will be timeless. If you're watching this from the time that it is that I've uploaded, this message and this video or the message that you will be that you will gravitate towards is the one that you need to hear for the Virgo new moon, which is happening on Wednesday, the 17th, I believe. I have four piles picked here for you guys. We're going to be working mostly with my in intuition, with the visions that, is that I see. If you need to take some time to pause the video and to sit with it, you know, take as much time as, as you need to um, choose a pile, but at the same time, no pressure at all. Don't put any pressure on yourself or your intuition. Just allow yourself to sit with it, to flow with it, and allow yourself to receive um, the messages that Spirit has for you. Okay, so the first pile, I have two options for you. I have the Tiger Conch Shell and I also have the Stork card. So these are the same pile, but whichever one gravitates towards you, to, that you gravitate towards the most, the Tiger Conch Shell or the Stork. Second pile is, I believe, the Spirit Quartz. I love this crystal, by the way and the house so if it resonates if it makes sense if it feels good then that's the one for you that's pile number two for pile number three we have i can't remember if this is apophyllite or a regular quartz crystal but either way this crystal is powerful af love this crystal and the coffin card That's pile number three. And for pile number four, we have the heart-shaped quartz crystal, and we have the book. That's pile number four. So go ahead and take your time. If you need to, again, pause it, then feel free. But for the most part, I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to focus my attention and my energy on pile number one. All right, so if you chose the tiger conch shell, or the stork card because they are the same pile it's pile number one this is your message so first and foremost when we're working with the stork card within the lenormand it really is about this card by itself is about returning to the space the place the people that is that you belong no matter where life takes you no matter what the journey has looked like you will always you will always return to the home base. Um, speaking of home base, this card is connected to the idea of home. It's about building, creating the, the foundation of, again, the place that you feel most comfortable, the place that makes you feel safe. As I'm looking at this card, I'm getting a massive um, message for the word preparation. And somehow preparation is connected to uh, intuition. I feel at the time of you choosing this card and choosing or choosing this crystal, you're using your intuition to help to guide you, to have discernment is the word that is has been coming through a lot lately. You've been using your intuition to help you discern what you would like to build with or what spirit is guiding you to build with. I'm seeing you... Um, I'm seeing this long journey. It could be for some of you guys, I'm almost getting education um, or like a career path that is that you're tr uh, trying to take. I feel as though it's something that you feel really called to do. Some people, you know, when they choose careers, they don't choose it from a, a space of uh, purpose. They choose it from a space of obligation. I don't think that this is the group that would be connected to that. This is about purpose and heart. If this is not connected to your career path, uh, this would definitely be connected to family or, um, or you know what, I'm gonna keep it open because this is a general, general reading, but I definitely see you guys working hard to build something of meaning, of purpose, and also it's essentially, it's a part of your destiny. Let's see what cards are coming through for you guys. Okay, so 
we have the three of cups we have the page of cups i believe this is what that card is we have five of air reverse we have ace of air we have five of cups so just give me a second to sit with this for a minute and see what comes through when i see the number five okay so you have five twice yeah um, you have the number five twice. So again, this is, I am feeling, <laughs> um, and I just heard shattered. I hear, I hear spirit is definitely focusing on this idea of things being shattered. Something that you were holding on to, which is so interesting because you also had the stork card here. Something that you were holding on to, something that you were building, or life as you know it, shattered. I'm almost hearing glass breaking. I am almost seeing the wind pushing over, um, so it could have been a storm, but it's it, this is all a metaphor, by the way. So there's this massive storm that came in and because of the winds, because of the, 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 the rain or whatever it is, it pushed over a mirror, that's what it is I'm seeing, or pushed over glass and it shattered. This is, again, this is a metaphor. This is, or it could be something that actually happened in your life, but, at that time of it shattering or at this point of you picking picking this card, I actually heard, as I said, picking the card, you're picking up the pieces. This is so symbolic because I feel as though um, spirit says that with the pieces that have shattered in your life, um, you are going to rebuild with it. As I'm saying that, I'm looking at the stork card and I'm seeing all of those tiny sticks. All of those sticks came from bigger trees, were broken from bigger trees. It was the storm that gave the opportunity for those sticks to be on the ground for the bird to use it to build with it. That's what it is I'm seeing it for this pile. If you chose this pile, I'm really getting this really strong fire passionate strength you know strength from your deep within your 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 solar plexus, deep from your root chakra. Part of the aspects of, of what you have experienced so far has been shattered because of, you know, well, not because of anything that you've done, but it, it's, it literally was there that challenged your idea of safety, security, stability, but also it's there to guide you, to see what you are capable of, to, to show you what you can do, and that will help to determine um, your value and your self-worth. Spirit has always seen you Spirit sees all of us as worthy of protection, guidance, um, blessing, all of those things, love, all of those things. But it's, and I don't want to say that it's a lesson, but it will teach you, it will show you and prove to you. It's almost like you have to prove to yourself or spirit is guiding you to to have it prove, proven to you that from these broken pieces, from the things that have shattered in your life, those have actually become keys to show you again what you are capable of, what you are worthy of building. As I'm talking, Spirit's telling me to be quiet. Okay, so I will be quiet. I think that there's more that I need to download. Okay, so, wow. Okay, sweetness. From this, and that I, as soon as I said that, you know, it's so interesting because spirit acknowledges and has acknowledged uh, the trauma, the pain, the suffering, the struggle. Some of you guys, it's not uh, spirit. It's So it's not that it's so heavy. The struggle is not so heavy. It's just something... I heard it's mandated. So it almost is giving me um, astrology timing, astrology cycles. So this area of your life may not necessarily have... Has, that you need to focus on right now is not the area of your life that has given you the most struggle, but it is um, mandated, meaning that the timing is perfect for you to, because of astrological timing, so if you have to pull your astrology chart, then by all means do it, but this is a time for you to pick up the pieces of your, pick up these pieces, these shattered pieces, and build with it something sweeter. Build something softer. I am getting, with the number three, um, and the, the two fives here, you're at a crossroads. <laughs> you're at this space at the time of you filming this, um, or at the time of me filming this, or at the time of me picking, you know, you choosing this pile, you're at this crossroads in your life. Again, it's mandated. You're at this point in your life, like a fork in the road, but I'm also seeing the, the number three. So there could be three different options or three different things that you have to set intention for. 
Um, I'm going to use this other. No, I'm not. I'm going to work with this one. So there's going to be three different things that you need to work with this with work with spirit, work with your ancestors, work with your guides in order to man manifest, in order to set intention for. Three is the number of the Trinity. It's holy. It's uh, a door that opens. But I think that there's three different blessings that need to come through, or it could be three thing three things that you will be creating. Okay. So let's see what this is about. Yep. Look at that. Did I not say that? That's the strength card. Empress, which is the number three right there. Pardon this uh, fingernail, you guys. I've been working on candles for my clients and stuff like that. So um, something's got to give. And then we also have the Queen of Cups. This is, this is feminine energy written all over it. Let me adjust this really quickly. This has feminine energy written all over it, which is exactly what it is that I'm talking about with this number three. Feminine energy is about your ability to receive. Hold on, because I'm also looking at this chili pepper, this um, chili pepper alignment right there. I feel like you're in this space right now of um, pat, like really, I power is not the right word. It's feminine power. It's feminine strength. It's your ability to use who you are, what you are to push out um, what it is that you're trying to create, what it is that you have set intention to create. So there is a lot of heightened manifestation here. As I'm saying this, I see the ace of air, yarrow. So this is, I see uh, what you what you call out, what you speak out. I feel as though I'm getting like call and response. If this is going to, when you call out to the universe, when you put out to the universe, when you connect with others, because it's about collaboration, that trinity there, either you're working with spirit, you're working with others, you're working with whomever. But when you call out, you get a response immediately. You also gain clarity. I think that, and what I'm seeing is at the time, also, what's drawing me is this sacred heart here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that heart doesn't come out, come up, it doesn't show up without a person having gone through some level of um, suffering, without some level of vulnerability, without some level of trans, uh, uh, transparency. Um, so spirit is really calling you to 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 right now to. Um, aim, take what you have, take what you have right now, these pieces of the puzzle, these things that have broken down, these things that is that you feel like they're a loss. They're not a loss. I see you using them to work with them, to build with them. There's this heightened space with the queen, with the queen of cups, with the empress card here and the strength card, compassion, kindness, consideration, but I'm also hearing independence. This is about you knowing with, with, out a fraction of a doubt with precision exactly what it is that you want exactly who you are again it's about no realizing and spirit showing you what you are capable of what you know that you are capable of the other thing i don't know why but as i'm looking at this jar with the herbs sitting in the corner of it i'm seeing a remedy a remedy for the mind um, for your own mind and also a remedy for the obstacle. I don't want to say because, you know, with the trine, sometimes we ex have this expectation that things are going to be easy and effortless, that things are going to flow. I feel like there's this warning with that. It's not a bad thing. It's just you kind of, we, there is an obstacle here. And I, I want to give you all of the tools so you can be prepared. So the obstacle is when you tighten up. <laughs> Why? Because this is when you look at the surrounding and you start to see the broken pieces as broken pieces, as shards, as things that didn't work out. Don't allow yourself to, to see it as that. See it as an opportunity for the universe, again, to take what you to take what was given to you before you are who you are now and spirit shattered it to give you actual um, resources that you can build better with more than what it is that you have let go of. It's reminding me of a geode. When you have a geode, it looks like a rock, right? So uh, if you were to walk along this path and see this geode there, this rock, you'd be like, okay, I can use this geode um, for, I don't know, a weight for my boat, I don't know. So I put this in my boat and it anchors it down or whatever. 
Um, or yeah, and then somehow you're carrying this geode and you only know the geode to serve in this way. You drop the geode one day or something pushes the geode, it cracks, it breaks apart and you see within it this beautiful amethyst, you see all the you know beauty inside of it. So you never realize that what it is that you're holding onto on the outside, you are using it in one way, but spirit will literally push it so that it shatters, so that it breaks, so that you can see that when it actually cracked open, it has more value, it is more beautiful it's like whatever it is that you were going to use the geode for so that's that's a really specific metaphor but i'm also seeing you cracking open aspects of yourself cracking open and you realizing that you don't need anything you don't need anyone to to show you who you are what you can do your value or to convince yourself of your worth spirit cracked open certain aspects not only around you but within you and you are learning that through your feminine power whether you're what, no matter how you identify as, um, you can you can actually not have to force your will, fight for your fight for the things that is that you want, but you just allow yourself to receive it. The biggest obstacle that it is that I'm seeing here, and this is definitely coming through with the strength card and the herbs sitting on the windowsill at the top, is your own perception of thinking that what broke um, defines you in a way that cripples cripples you. That is not the case. Um, and also I'm seeing this space of you channeling your strength as I'm looking at that we have garlic and we have honey so it's the balance the best of both worlds we have strength there something that we can't if you bite into garlic you know you bite you bit into garlic if you taste honey you know that you're tasting sweetness so you can use those different aspects of yourself to gain what it is that you want as, I, as I'm looking at this we have the honeycomb on the empress card as well and this card is also ruled by the rose. The rose has the petals, the flower, the leaves, and it also has its thorns. So it's working with all aspects of what you are that makes you strong, that makes you unique. You don't have to compromise or um, choose one or the other. You can be both. And with that, it brings me back to the Three of Cups. So I am seeing a path here. As I'm looking at this, I'm also drawn to the river again. So you are, at this point, you are called to speak to the universe um, exactly what it is that you want. Don't look at what was lost, especially with the Five of Cups here. There's this sometimes a space of, look what I've lost. Look what, what, look what has been taken from me. As I say this, okay, we have Three of Cups, literally Three of Cups. One, two, three. With the Five of Cups and traditional Rider weight, there's two cups that are lost, three that are standing up, or is it the opposite? I can't remember because I'm not working with... No, I think it's actually three cups that are spilled and two that are left. Um, but either way, it doesn't matter. There was a space of loss, right? The cr something gets cracked open, something shatters, something breaks. And with that, I'm actually seeing a space of freedom. I'm actually seeing a space of um, emotional, the ability to flow simply because you're not tightened and contained all the time. It's your own mind and how things, how you th see things to be that will determine if you are going, what you will manifest, what you will allow yourself to receive. And I'm seeing a space of rebirth simply because of things that cracked. Don't worry about what was lost. Everything that is lost, everything that you have left, everything that has left you, everything that... If you think about birds, right, and the storms coming, they don't... When a storm is coming, emphasis on storms right now. Um, when a storm is coming, birds don't stay in that tree. They have wings and they have an intuition and guidance and discern, discernment to guide them out of danger or to guide them out of places that is that they don't belong for their highest and greatest good. They don't stay and hunker down in the tree, they get out of there. Same thing when the weather's change, right? So if it's if they're in New Jersey or up north, they fly down south. They don't mourn the fact that they are leaving the, that nest. They can return back to it. You know, it's they, they like it's not taken from them it's just you're just moving on right and then they rebuild and they have the ability it's actually freedom that is that they have to move forward and to not be stuck in a space and have to weather the storm spirit is saying empress energy queen of cups empress strength card is that you don't have to ride these things out you have the freedom the space to remove yourself from things that you don't need to ride out you're an empress energy you're being protected you have the choice with that what is it that you're going to choose 
What are you going to manifest? What are you going to set intention for? What are you going to allow yourself to receive? That's that's the choice here. I'm seeing the emphasis on the number three. It's things that, again, make you feel strong, make you feel powerful. That's, so that's one thing I think that's connected to your work. With the Empress, it's things that you love to give to that you love to love, that make you feel really good, that make you feel like a goddess. And the Queen of Cups here is about things, the third thing is a thing that nurtures your spirit, that makes you feel emotionally complete, that listens to you, that hears you, and that doesn't deplete you. It actually adds, you know, adds into you, it pours into you. Same thing here. It's this blessing that pours into you. All these three things that is that you're setting intention for, you actually have the freedom to, to call out, to speak, to speak out. Um, and the universe is quick to give it to you or it has already given it to you and it says acknowledge it. Literally, we have the chariot card here. That's the, the next card and it says you can have the freedom to move. You have the freedom to decide. That's the other thing too with the chariot card is that it's working with um, the negative aspects and the positive aspects it's working with a shadow it's working with a light so you don't have to pick or choose one or the other you can have all of it use all of who you are in order to build rebuild and i'm also seeing this space of cycles so i hope that that makes sense you guys actually let me go ahead and shuffle from the romance angels cards because i feel like um this would be good okay Look, my loves. Okay, so you have playfulness here. You have passion. And you have trust. Also, three cards. So I'm not entirely sure what just happened to my camera just now. But with playfulness, with trust, with passion, there is a common theme here, which is allowing yourself to receive. Allow it to come to you. Okay? Passion, well, playfulness is about your ability to relax to let go, to surrender, to have joy, to be in a higher vibration for you to allow yourself to play, to feel safe enough to play. Because remember, we were talking about your root and sacral chakra earlier. Um, yeah, so it says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. This is about literally like you being able to relax, to ease back, to have fun, to be joyful, to be abundant, and to celebrate in the present moment. Um, that's the vibe that is I'm getting with playful playfulness. With passion, I am seeing, again, you guys, I don't know if this is extra confirmation for those of you guys that are stepping into a space, again, of your purpose that's connected to your passion. It's your passion project that you're, it, you're enhancing and that you're investing in, but also allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Again, this is all about your feminine energy, number three, your ability to relax to receive to recapture to to enjoy so and what you need what you want will come and find you or it will be enhanced all by itself that's the number three it's tripled right then the last card is trust this is having faith in the divine this is having faith in yourself i'm also hearing restoring faith in the circumstances this situation is calling for you to have faith what you are trying to set intention for what spirit is working in your life what you are calling out towards the universe, what you have seen lost, surrender it because and surrender your surrender what you thought you what you thought it should be, what you thought it should look like so that you can regain control so that you can regain um, strength so that you can regain clarity into seeing the gift and the blessing to work with the pieces of what it is that you have right now to rebuild again so that you can enjoy your life so that you can recapture um you know passion again so that you can take these steps forward so i hope that that makes sense you guys um i'm going to move on to group number two but in the meantime i want to invite you to subscribe um if you need any help or resources with anything especially when it comes to attracting um, some oils that I can recommend are my Goddess Vibrational Oil that's available within my Apothecary. The Love Spell and also the Pluto Death Oil is something that I'm feeling that is coming through you, coming through for you. Again, because um, anytime when you release something, it comes back in another form, especially with this stored card. So the links for the Apothecary will be down below. And again, make sure that you're all subscribed to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to move on to group number two. Okay, my loves, if you chose the spirit courts or the house, welcome to your reading. 
Um, okay, well, that's fast. So first things first, one thing that's standing out to me immediately with the house card is this open gate. <laughs> Spirit is... Okay, wow, there's a lot coming through for this group right now. Okay, so Spirit is literally just drew like a big question mark. Should we be opening that gate? I don't know what that means for you guys. Yeah, I don't know what that means for you guys. This home. Okay. This is a comp, this is complicated. This home, I, I don't know why, but I'm hearing secrets. I feel, and that's interesting because a home and a house is a place that it is that should be safe for you. This should, this reading probably shouldn't be triggering. I hope that it's not. Um, but I'm also getting the space of, hmm, you know, it's some, somewhere that should be safe for you, but you know, you don't let just anybody into your home. I don't know if you need to be a little bit more cautious about what you should, what you're allowing in, especially at the time of me filming this, we have the Virgo new moon. So there could be some people who are coming in. Maybe they're um, a little too critical. Maybe they're a little too judgmental. Maybe they're talking too much, gossipy. I don't know why I feel with this, you know, not, not everything is what it seems. Not everything is what it looks like. I don't know. Hold on, let's see. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Nope. See, that card didn't want to come through. Why? Huh. Yeah, this is um, offers. Such an interesting... Okay, that one came out. Five of air. See what I'm saying? Sage. So this is about being very mindful and aware that not everybody or everything has your best intentions. You may not know it. Also cleanse your own energy or cleanse the energy of the home, especially with the sage card. Something has to be cleansed. Something has to be. And as I'm looking at that, I'm focusing on that door. I'm not even focusing on the sage. I'm looking at the door. What's behind the door or close the door? Something about this string that is wrapping the sage reminds me of the past. This is such an interesting um, group. <sighs> okay, so now Spirit's like, who made that basket? What an interesting group. Who made the basket? Who, who, who? And with the gate there, the hermit card. See, there's something, there's something a little off here. The feather, the feather is a symbol for me of the truth. It's a message that brings the truth. Something ain't clean in the buttermilk is what I'm gonna say. I am seeing focus. With that candle, I see focus, I see an altar, I see, um, yeah, I see like ritual, I see go to your altar space, sage cleanse. You need some, um, you need some energy, not energy cleansing here, but when I have to, I just heard break free. Um, I just heard break free. Well, I was going to say, because I can't relate to this, but this is all I was just about to say. Um, when I have to break free of something, which I can't relate to that right now, but that's what just came through. When I have to break free of something, I go to my altar and I do a release ceremony or I light a candle to um, surrender the outcome, to surrender the situation, to surrender a person, um, to surrender something. Um, something has been created here. Something has been in the works. Spirit is really clearly questioning um, people's intentions here. People who you think might add value, but if you go to your altar space, the hermit card is a card of being by yourself. But in this case, I see it as going to the space, the source, to set intention so that you can have clear discernment, so that you can see without a fraction of a doubt. 
spirit is really calling you the home is maybe it could be your home environment but it's the sacred space it's the altar it's the spot where you go to pray it's the spot where you go to set intention it's a spot that it's not about cleansing like you know cleansing your energy it's about clarity it's about seeing look at this we have rosemary here this is the card of clarity, more information, seeing it for what it is. We have 10 of air, something has to be, so with the ending, with the ending, there's more for that, because 10 of air, 10 of swords, there's an ending, what exactly is it? There's so much to this 10 of, wow, okay, so family, so this could be connected to the home environment. You might need to set intention um, or work a ritual for protection for the family, for the home environment. Not everything is what it seems right now. That's especially with the magician card here, reversed. Not everyone's intention is pure. Ace of air says we want you to see, spirit wants you to see. Then we also have four of wands, okay? We have four of wands and we also have two of cups. So spirit and four of earth. So it's the same area that is that you're holding on to that you're trying to protect, spirit is trying to protect it with you and says that something has to be seen, something has to be spilled out, something has to be revealed to you so that you can see with clear with clear precision that not everybody has your best interests at heart. Sometimes it could be your family, your own family. I'm seeing you going to your altar. I'm seeing you preparing. Wow, the lovers. Okay, so it, this could be a choice, this could be a decision, but more than anything, I'm seeing two things that are trying to come together and work together. This is not, doesn't have to be an, a bad thing, you guys. This doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. I am just seeing spirit wanting to work justice. I'm seeing spirit wanting to work things out for everyone and everyone's best interest and for everyone's benefit. No one will be left without. No one should be left without. Everyone should be provided for and protected. But some people don't need to be at your in your space. I don't know. I'm seeing you going to your altar. I'm seeing you saging and cleansing, setting intention. Um, more than that, it's I'm surprised. Okay, so you have. The, I was gonna say I don't. I'm surprised you don't have the magician card here. So maybe maybe for some of you guys, it's not that there's evil afoot or bad things afoot it's the fact that you need to set intention you need to step into your power right now four of earth um four of fire um the justice card the lover's card ten of water so ten of cups ten of air says stop what you're doing go to your al altar i'm seeing you working with water i'm seeing you working with fire all actually all of the elements so earth air water and fire and spirit so five um all together totally that's what the ten of ten of cups ten of air is here is what i'm really seeing is you i see you really even as i'm looking at this the ha hand of power is you know upright and holding it and says listen go to your altar burn some sage make the space sacred and start calling it in i'm also hearing like i just heard it so shall it be so mote it be so you have to with use your words to put it out there and you will attract you will call out there are certain things that you have to also what it is that i'm getting with the hermit card here i'm seeing this person focusing on the flame watching the flame as it jumps and i'm also it's not you it's spirit i just saw um spirit or an ancestor or they're watching the flame too <laughs> as you're watching the flame they're watching the flame so they're speaking to you through the flame fires so i'm also seeing candle magic i'm i'm seeing you working um working with the herbs in order to stop what you're doing to set intention to manifest i'm seeing fire okay at the altar i don't know what your belief system is but that's what it is i'm seeing right here as you're watching the flame so a spirit watching the flame you guys are both working it together that makes a lot of sense with the lovers and the two of cups these forces are coming together positive forces forces of love and light are coming together in order to protect you in order to guide you in order to help you to manifest the magician card reversed is concerning for me because it feels like you have you have given your power away to other people and spirit says stop doing that you are a powerful being all by yourself. The hermit card here is just has my attention, like my full attention here, full attention. Free yourself. Do you see, there's something that I said in the very beginning of this reading where 
um, I just saw, I said, I think I said when I have to break free of something, literally, I'm seeing you need to break. I don't know what this group, you guys are very specific. You are not powerless. There's this connection to the past. What about it? I need to talk about it. I need to talk about the past. Yeah. There are certain situations and circumstances, things of the past that you have accidentally linked yourself to. Um, your heart. It's a, it's a cord. That's actually what it is. Oh my God. That makes so much sense now. The cord, you guys. Didn't I say that? It's a cord. It's the cord. It's this energetic spiritual cord. It has to be cut. It has to be removed. As soon as I saw this could be the one, true love, free yourself and love yourself for it first. It's this cord. It's an energetic cord that spirit is saying in the fire. You, I actually see you guys taking this a string, a metaphorical string. It represents, you have to hold it. <gasps> Look, it's here too. Oh my God, spirit speaks, man. There's these cords right here. Ignore this fingernail. I Again, like I was telling group number one, I was working with um, candle magic, literally. Actually, now that I think about that, you guys could really benefit from that. But um, the cord, I'm actually seeing you holding a red cord. This is going to be a ritual, okay? Um, and I'm actually seeing you holding it over. It's these energetic cords, and you're holding it over a tea light candle. I wish I had one here, but I don't know if you guys can see this. But it's a tea light candle and you're holding it over that tea light candle. You have all of the different elements there and you hold the cord over it and you break the cord. So you're holding the cord and you set intention for everything that that cord represents. It could represent things from the past. It could be generational curses. It could be things, love, love, soulmates, twin flames, whatever, um, careers, whatever it is that this energetic cord has on you. It's not that it's necessarily evil. It's just, it's just the fact that it's holding you back. Spirit is also watching that flame. Remember how I said that? Spirit is watching the flame. So as you are holding, and this is where the home is. This is what you know yourself to be, your identity to be, where you feel like you belong or that won't. It's not that you belong there. It's just you have, you can't, it's why is it still there? Why is it still showing up? It comes from the root. It's this root pulling down. It's not from the higher plane. It's from the, the solar. It's from, I'm sorry, it's from the root. So it's this, it's almost like an umbilical cord almost that you got to sever it. You got to remove it. As I'm even thinking, like this is red. So I'm seeing a red cord because it's a lifeline. That is not your lifeline anymore. You have to remove yourself from it. You have to free yourself. With the lover's card here, you have to understand, especially with the two of cups, that this relationship, whatever this thing is, whether it's someone from the past or it could even be a person, a partnership that you're in a relationship with, um, and aspects of that relationship has died, and you, look at this. Didn't I say with the basket, who built the basket? I was literally saying that. If you don't remember, go back to the beginning of this video. I said, um, or go back to the beginning of your, I said, who built the basket? It's four of earth. It's something that's holding on to you, something that was weaved in. And what we want to do is it's not fair for you to hold, stay into that space anymore. You have to free yourself. You have to free yourself from it. You have to rebuild again. But first, I'm seeing you cutting the cord because it's been st almost stealing your power while holding you back. No judgment here. Spirit is not giving any space of, of judgment here. It's just saying that, you know, you, you, you felt it. You had it. It was there. And now you're stepping into your power again. Your, your spirit is calling you into your power again. And as you do that, your relationship, your family, the space that is that you belong so this could actually be, um, this could be generational, you guys, because with religious factors, it's these set ingrained ways that we believe, that we move, that we, um, things that are just, you know, caught in us, caught in our energy, you know, that are passed on, things that we feel are right or wrong. There is no such thing as right or wrong. Um, it just does it work for you or does it not work for you? So spirit is really saying like, listen, it's time for you to step into that, into your power again, and you can't do that if... 
you know, you're you're still kind of caught into this old way. So I'm actually seeing you guys going to the altar, working with the flame, and that ancestor or that thing, that person, is also watching you burn, burn the cord, break the cord. It frees it, it releases it, it burns the basket up. So something new can be bought or something new can be built. And something is, you know, it's almost like, it's interesting that I just said bought because it's a new contract. Um, it's a new contract for a higher growth. It's a new contract for a higher relationship. So for some of you guys, again, this is connected to, to, to actual lovers and relationships, okay? So as you are breaking that cord, burning that cord, you will actually manifest. You will release the old aspects of those relationships or the old ways that you look at your old experiences with relationships or how people treat you and what that relationship looked like. Um, even your family relationships, it goes so deep. It goes in all areas of your life. And you will then, as that cord breaks, create a new contract. So shall it be. That's what I said. So you're going to, this is the way that it is. You know, you're really calling in. It's almost like working with this all the all loving power of the universe of God that says any curse my will is stronger than any curse come back and call it out and it will manifest that is what it will be so I see you guys calling out to with the um see let your friends help you this is really about to me this is about um, look this little guy has a, a crystal ball I don't know if you can see that, but he has a crystal ball there in the corner. So I'm just seeing angels really working with you, watching the cord being broken. They're like, finally, she's free. Then you enter into the arms and the space of the person that you belong. I have to say that what's coming through is that um, this is not, I'm just really getting a strong sense of relationships here. Um, it's not a new relationship. <laughs> Some of you guys, uh, there's a connection to the past. So it feels like whether you are... You working your magic and breaking this cord, this soul cord, it is like twin flame energy. So when you built break that cord and that thing that's been constricting your relationship for you, for your partner, for you, it will impact your partner. Some of you guys, it's a relationship that has been in your life for a minute and it will just allow it to be freed and unbound by these things. Literally, the card was free yourself. It will be like let go of like it will be released these toxics this toxicity these curses will be released and then this new life will be brought back to the relationship if it's an if it's a new relationship meaning that it's you haven't met you feel like you haven't met your soulmate or your twin flame yet um literally this person is someone from the past it's a very deep soul soulmate twin flame type of relationship so you cutting the cord frees them frees you and changes the luck changes the course of everything um wow <laughs> that is incredible so that's what i'm seeing for those of you guys that chose the house and the spirit courts. Good luck. You guys have to keep me posted because that was a very interesting reading. I need to hear what's going to, going on. Let me know down in the comments, um, definitely. Or if you would like, you can tag me in a post on Instagram. Um, yeah. So, I, I mean, I saw candle magic for you guys. So if you need to have any candles uh, worked um, for you, one thing I would rec definitely recommend is the Banish um, candle magic or can fixed candle that's um, on my website. Um, also the love, the, the love and romance one, because, or even, um, yeah, yeah. Or the Pluto death oil or the soulmate oil. Yeah. Those are the things that I would recommend definitely hands down to help you to manifest. And all of those links will be down below in the description box, or you can go ahead and check them out at bahadilife.com. But either way, you guys have to let me know what's going on. Cause that, that group was powerful. All right, I'm gonna move on to group number three. <laughs> Wild. All right, so if you chose the, I can't, again, I can't remember if this is Apophyllite or if it's Quartz Crystal or the Corpse Coffin card. Oh, okay, this is your reading. Okay, so first and foremost, um, I'm definitely getting a space of stillness, um, and it doesn't seem to be coming from a space of necessarily peace. Um, it could be when too much has happened that you just kind of are just sitting there. 
I don't want to say that it's a person who has given up. But I just am like hearing like I've done all that I can do. I don't feel like this is, oh, I'm excited to rest. Oh, I'm excited to surrender. It's, I feel forced to do this. This is not what I would have wanted to do and I just give up. Spirit is saying, good. The reason why is because spirit, I don't like to you, what I just heard was the word gloating. So it's not that spirit is gloating at your forced surrender, forced submission, you finally giving up, or you finally laying this thing down, or you finally being so exhausted and so bored, or so like, ugh, I'm done, this is never gonna work out, that spirit's like celebrating that. It's the fact that spirit says, I can't tell you how hard he, she, whomever has been working so hard to do things their way, that finally, like it's just unfortunate that it has to come to this, but that's where we're at, so finally we can step forward. Also, this is the number eight, so it's about infinity. It's this infinite loop. And Spirit says, when you finally allow yourself to rest, you give us the space to work. So go sit down. Um, I just heard the word miserable. Um, also with the word miserable came manipulation. Okay, no offense, but Spirit says, you know what, she's, he, whomever, has been trying to, I don't know if this is you or if this is someone else, but someone or something has been manipulating you or you have been trying to manipulate certain things. No offense, but Spirit sees all. And Spirit, when I'm working with Spirit, it shows me. So this could be someone... <laughs> So now I'm getting actually a space of agitation, irritation, annoyance. It almost feels like when you have too much coffee, you do too much, and then you start running around doing all these extra things that you, it's just ends up being too much. Spirit is, I don't know, I don't think that this is necessarily spirit's energy towards you. I'm actually getting a sense that it's almost giving very five of swords energy where you are hurting yourself, you are also hurting other people, people are hurting you, they're hurting themselves. So... All of it is so connected. Spirit, it's too much. This is actually way too much. I'm getting a lot of agitation, irritation, annoyance, manipulation. You're trying to manipulate me. You're trying to manipulate me. You're trying to control me. Cut it. Cut it. It's very... And I know that you're doing it. I know that you're doing it. I see you doing it. You think I don't see you doing it, but you're doing it. I'm going to manipulate you. You can't manipulate me. I'm manipulating you first. What is this? This is a lot. Group number three. This is a lot. I almost want to, no offense, but I almost want to just be like, I don't, I don't, I'm going to carry through with this reading. Um, this is either someone that you're dealing with. I'm also getting like best friend vibes. It should be someone that is that you trust. They're not like, what? Like, I'm, I'm annoyed. Um, Empress's energy here, it could be with a woman. It could be you as an Empress energy. It could be your mother or a grandmother. I'm looking at this card while I'm talking to you guys. Spirit is like, you need to sit down. This is a tough, this is a tough group. The lovers and the empress. <laughs> oh, yoy, yoy. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. If you are, have headphones on. Um, I just, you know, I want to say that this is someone else, but this could actually be your energy. You could have been trying to manipulate, you know, the divine to be like, but spirit sees everything, so why why would you try to do that? Um, if it's not you, because I don't want to trigger anyone, I don't want to offend anybody. Um, if it's not you, it, it could really be someone else. Okay. 
these are your cards actually let's go all right so we have eight of cups reversed four of fire reversed three of cups reversed seven of air that's seven of swords reversed the fool card reversed okay so um i just heard out of spite there's certain things that okay we're gonna have to we're gonna have a, a strong we're gonna have a uh we're gonna have a heart to heart <laughs> you and i so there's certain things that spirit is saying that um you you are co-creating that you are no offense but you're responsible for um, you can't control what other people are doing. You can control what it is that you do. If you get caught up, especially with the two of two of Earth, two of Pentacles here, if you get caught up in other people's drama and other people manipulating you, if you allow yourself to be manipulated, if you allow yourself to be controlled, you can't point the finger at them and say, oh, well, he, she controlled me or he, she manipulated me. You, to some degree, you allow it. Spirit says you are not not knowing you know you know so spirit says can you chill with that lay that to rest eight of cups reversed seven of air reversed four of wands reversed three of cups reversed the fool card reversed and the only one upright is two of pentacles what are you collaborating with I feel as though, pardon me, you guys, but there's this energy that's coming through. So again, it's either you or someone else. But if it's someone else, why are you engaging with them? So I feel as though there's a spirit of, well, you know, do you need them to need you? Like, what, what is this? Do you need them to need you? Does it make you, does it give you some sense of, you know, self-worth or self-value, them needing you? I heard, but we have strong chemistry. We have a connection. Your flirt, like flirting, this, the flirt card and chemistry here, it's no. Just no, just no. I feel, so at the time of me filming this, you know, we're, we're walking into the new moon in Virgo. Virgo doesn't do the bullshit, you know, and spirit... <laughs> is saying we don't want you to do the bullshit okay you don't need to you need to have discernment and you're not helping anyone and you're not helping yourself but you're not helping anyone by engaging and involving yourself um with things that intermingling with things that are not of a higher vibration you need to call in more for yourself you need to see it for what it is in fact you you need to chill you need to rest you need to disconnect you need to um, disconnect from the discord and the dysfunction is what it is I just heard. It's not serving anyone. In fact, you could do those, well, I don't know, I forget what they call it, um, but you need to disappear. All right? The sun is going to set and rise without, without you, which means that, you know, there are better things out there for you that you can actually involve yourself in, which will actually make a world of a difference than you trying to involve yourself in this situation that you are locked yourself into. That you've allowed yourself to be locked into. There's a space of, you guys are avoiding an awakening. You guys are avoiding the truth. You're avoiding rebirth. You're avoiding, um, you know awareness you know better you're all, you almost are like and why they they got you i that's what i just heard well they got me they got me they caught me off guard i hear that but you're putting your ten of cups on the line you're putting your happily ever after on the line disconnect remove it it's sometimes you know especially with calling in your soulmate and the, the uh, judgment card here, because that's what these cards are, you have to be broken out of and freed from Ace of Fire, certain things so that you can find your life, so that you can find your new beginning, so you can find your new, um, you know what I just heard? That um, 
the Dr. Seuss, the Dr. Seuss thing, like your your wait your road is waiting, your adventure is out there. You know, you guys you need you're holding you're holding yourself in this limbo space for too long and spirit says there is I don't even want to do this anymore. Like you know, it's almost irritating me. <laughs> so there's a whole world out there. Spirit had to say that first. We're not I'm not done with you guys. Spirit had to say that first. There's a whole world out there that you need to explore, that you need to experience. What is that? So many options. Oh. You're afraid of your own success. You're afraid of your your own blessing and abundance. You are this is like a person who, especially with the cacao the hierophant here you're just so stuck in this traditional way of doing things and you know how life is but you can make so much for yourself there are so many opportunities and options and things avenues to explore eight of air here eight of swords it's your own anxiety it's your own inner tension that says no i don't deserve it or no that's not going to happen six of fire says it will I'm almost, I just heard PTSD. There, this world is so sweet. There are so many blessings. Look at your feelings. How does it make you feel? See, healing the star card. Look at your, look at your, like, when you look at what's around you right now, the things that are around you, do they feel comfortable to you? Do they feel like a blessing? Or do they create tension, drama, chaos, dysfunction, dis discord. You have to be the one to, to decide like, okay, I actually want more for myself. This is not serving me. Look, I just said, I want more for myself, the Empress. I deserve more. So I am going to put myself out there. Yep. You've experienced lack. I'm just getting PTSD vibes. You've experienced lack, which means, and PTSD doesn't mean that you've been in the war. It means that for, for everyone, it could be you've experienced loss, you've experienced um, suffering, you've experienced betrayal, but don't stay, you don't have to stay in that space. Empress, spirit wants you to know so badly. You, she's, She, he is not open to receiving and we are just ready, we are ready. The chocolate, chocolate here is such a luxury. It's such a treat. And Seven of Cups is here saying there's more than one treat. It's your own anxiety. And that's why you need rest. Six of Wands is the card of, I actually just said PTSD, but it's this Six of Wands is the soldier who's coming back from the war. And everyone is celebrating them. But they're also like, yeah, thank you so much. I'm so happy to be home. But like, what does home look like? You know what I mean? And it's your own plaguing fears. It's your own, see, stay optimistic. There's better out there for you guys. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. It will bring you better. Then that's when you can, yep, retreat. See what I'm saying? Rest. Then you can, you know, see what comes through. But also keep it light right now because, you know, and just I'm really seeing, um, simplicity for you guys right now really instead of you know being on your phones going to these family gatherings i'm seeing you um like really I, I don't know why but i'm seeing someone stringing flowers on a on a string so they're building and people will be like why are you doing that like we're all out here drinking and wakeboarding and jumping out of the sky why don't you join us it's like because i don't need to do that right now okay i'm chilling so I'm seeing you just doing these, it's almost, it's very like, very um, tinkery. Like it's like someone's tinkering. Like they're putting a flower on a string, putting a flower. Like they pick the flower, then they put the flower on the string, and then they tie it up and they just do multiple of those and then they just give them out as gifts. Or someone doing puzzles, someone, something that other people would be like, you're, some people would say this, like they're wasting their time, but you're doing it for the sake of life says, gave you permission to slow down and you're allowed to take your time and to enjoy. I feel like I have to get, I forgot to mention, dang it, I literally put this here. Um, this video is sponsored by Rose Forever. <laughs> so I'll put the links down for that. 
not that I, you guys, I just, that wasn't a message for you. That's just the fact that I put that there so I can remember and then I forgot because that's, you know, I'm so sorry. Oi, 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 I'm the worst when it comes to that. I got to get more cards for you, my loves, because this group, my beautiful group. Okay, flower therapy. So, or maybe you're gardening, but I'm just seeing someone tinkering. I'm feeling like you guys have this expectation like, oh, I should be doing this or, oh, this, I should be engaging in this. You don't have to be doing anything. In fact, spirit is the first one to be like, uh, the only thing that you should, I just see like you doing, it could be like beading or something. It's very like, or like, um, tools, like working, like woodworking tools. Everyone's going to be different. Okay, unity, you are healed, take time for yourself, and magnify your intention. All of those things, right? So with unity, I actually see you spending, being very, number one, being hyper aware of who, what you're spending and placing your time, your energy with, your friends, your family, your partnerships. Um, if they are not serving you, they cannot stick around for too long. I'm like I said, I almost see you just kind of slowly disappearing or ghosting. I don't typically um, encourage that, but in your case, I kind of kind of do. This is going to help you to take time out for yourself so that you can heal yourself and you can get your mind right and set your intentions right. Okay, um, and I'm also seeing this through these smaller um, smaller activities by simplistic activities, and there's this big Big emphasis on the word simplicity. I'm also seeing um, the meditation beads, the on beads, I think the prayer beads. There's like 108 of them. And so it could be mantras, saying a mantra 108 times every day. One that used to work for me is I am divine love. That means that you are not separate from the divine and love moves through you. Look at face your fears. See what I'm saying? You guys have to kind of like, look, this is a tough group. Ancient teachings, you guys are learning some deep, 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 deep rooted lessons right now. Um, but at the same time, you got to be very careful with yourself. Spirit doesn't say face your fears and push you right out into, push you right out of the plane. It says, look, new growth. So there's, when you see it, when you know it, you do better. And spirit is supporting you and saying, let's co-create together. Let's create together. There's new spring here. But right now, um, I'm seeing you kind of resting, taking some time out for yourself and allowing yourself to heal because that's what spirit wants for you. I don't see you making a big statement. I see you actually saying less. Yep. You deserve love, not just any love, but true love. So you deserve the best, really. Especially with the star card here and the empress. You guys had to hear it. You know, I know that was a tough, tough group. Um, the energy came through really strong and forceful. But sometimes that's how, that's sometimes how it is. So I hope that you're well. Um, you know, for you, because I've been making recommendations for everyone. For you... Um, something that I recommend right now is something that's not available in my shop. Um, I'm just seeing, um, incense for you. I'm seeing kind of the bird of paradise or the healing. Oh yeah. Healing waters, candle, fixed candle, um, bird of paradise, uh, fixed candle just to help you know, bring that juice and that good vibes back into your life, that healing energy into your life. Um, yeah. Let me know how you guys are down in the comments. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, let me know. I'm This group, I'm going to keep an eye out for you because um, this is a lot. And if I could, I would give you one big hug. Okay? So I'm going to move on to group number four. Uh, make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Um, you know, turn off your notifications because I'm always posting videos. Are always giving content and, and messages. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Okay, so if you chose the heart-shaped quartz 
or the book. This is your reading. First and foremost, um, one thing that's coming through for this is kind of like this third group, but not so far, not as uh, shaking um, in my energy. It's this is um, you. This is a higher, higher evolved uh, individual. I'm getting um, like mastery. So this is someone, this is a, a group or a pile that is about spiritual, personal growth, development. I'm hearing um, evolution with this, with this card, with this pile. Um, as I'm looking at the, the courts, as I'm looking, as I'm feeling the vibe out, this is again about, um, again, self-mastery, self-actualization, um, and the rewards and the punishments that come through with that. I always feel like my pile fours are the ones who, oh, let me put this on, do not disturb. Well, that actually says a lot, that just now. So that kind of actually proved my point, which is they're the ones that put everyone first because they are these highly um, evolved people, spiritual beings who are walking the face of this earth and are called to be healers, called to be intuitives, or called to help people. Um, you would never know, so also with the book, you would never know what these people, who they are to their core, their stories, um, their history, what they've gone through, what they've experienced. Um, because they don't take the time. I don't know why this is all coming through right now, but they don't take the time to share it with the rest of the world. It, they feel as though it would be irresponsible for them to share it or to burden people. They're not, they don't want to burden, when I say burden people, it's just they, people wouldn't have the solutions. It's not that they're being these martyrs or anything like that, but there's just people don't have the solution to help them with what they go through and what they are growing through. So, and because... Uh, I don't know what happened just now, but my camera cut out and I already have cards pulled out for you guys. So I'm just going to pick up as if like carrying on. Um, what I want to say is that you have the chariot upright, you have six of air reversed, you have the knight and the page of wands, both of them reversed and the high priestess reversed. So for those of you guys that chose this card, spirit is saying right now is giving you clear permission and direction to move forward. Spirit says that what we have placed into your life, unbeknownst to you, or maybe knowing of, know, that you know this is what happened, you were there to serve. This is, I don't want to say unfortunate, but I kind of want to say that it's unfortunate because it doesn't seem fair. But you were there to serve a purpose, to help someone, something evolve in an area of their life. I feel as I'm saying this, this is between you and I. Like this is between you and I is what I'm hearing. So I don't know if that's between you and I right now, um, sitting here talking together, you know, shuffling cards, or if it's between you and spirit, you and your angels. People don't need to know, again, with this book, people don't need to know, you know, all of your gifts because they will try to take advantage of it or they will come into your life with the intention to take. Spirit is trying to encourage you to keep some things to yourself and to not, you know, show up in these places that it is that you are meant to show up in in order to initiate and to help people change from a space of higher love and higher vibration. But at the same time, when spirit says it's time to move forward, it's time to move forward. Spirit wants to encourage you and tell you that not everything in your life and not everything that we see and have and want for you is there to help benefit other people. There is a lot of energy around you that is very serving of others. It shows up there for others, but Spirit says that not everything that we bring into your life is going to look like that. So 
And if you stay in a space for too long, if you continue to serve or to help heal someone or heal something um, and, and extend that long past its time, that's when the energy starts getting toxic. Um, and spirit says, it's you have to move forward. You have to move on. Not everything that we bring into your life is there to make, is there to last. It's not meant to be permanent. It's, it's meant to be permanently changed. Once it's permanently changed, you have to release it. You have to let it go. Spirit is coming through and acknowledging the fact that that is a lot of burden for one person to carry. If there's one person who can do it, if there's one person that is the one to do it, it's going to be you. But at the same, because these roots and your gifts go so deep and go so high. They go so deep connected to the earth. They go so high connected to the spiritual world, the spiritual realms. You are highly, highly protected. You are here to make, to make a big dent, okay? You're meant to make a big impact. All right, but at the same time, that's going to be a make, make a big impact in other people's lives. But also at the same time, spirit is showing you and, you know, giving you the opportunity to learn how to balance um, being human and also being spiritually evolved. So there's going to be just like you're there's some people that are, you're going to cross paths with that you are there to change them for the better, to make a massive impact on you and, and with you. Um, Spirit says that you are not only here to just be of service, we are also here to give you gifts. Spirit is saying at the time of you picking this card or at the time of the Virgo, um, that was my elbow by the way if you guys heard that, um, at the time of you picking this card or the Virgo new moon, Spirit says do not stay in a space and look at it for too long because it's going to create pain and suffering because you literally were placed in that person's life or you were there in that moment, you were there in that situation to help to heal it, to make it better, to take it to the next level, and we move you forward. If you stay too long in there, it will hurt. If you invest in it, in a temporary thing, it will create pain and suffering, and Spirit is trying to teach you so much right now that you are meant to pass through. You are meant to pass through, and we place you. You're the only one that can do it. Um, you're the only human being that can do it. We're, you're, we have to put you in these certain situations so that you can help to heal it, so that you can help heal that person, so that you can help to move them forward. But if you stay there and if you try to build a home there when you should be building a bridge for them, you will get, it will be bad. It will become like bad for you. Okay, Spirit says, um, okay, because I'm also seeing three of fire, three of pentacles, three of air, and the hanged one, so the hanged man. Three of air, it looks like this, so three of swords, three of earth, yeah, looks like this, and three of fire, looks like this. Spirit is saying, we're going to move forward, and I'm going to, I'm going to respect that. <laughs> I just heard, is that it? Oh, I feel, um, I feel very, um, heart achy. I heard, that's not fair. <laughs> Spirit says, I know. Okay, so we're going back to your purpose right now, but thats I don't think that that's everything, so just bear with me. You are there to be a compass, to give direction and light into people's lives. People cannot. They don't have it in them. They're, that's, fuck. Oh, God, it's, this, is a, this one's a tough one. So people have the potential to step into their higher potential, but a lot of times they choose not to. And then here you come. This higher evolved being trying to encourage and to incite, I guess, um, and to inspire love and to move people from damage. This is damage in their relationships, damage in their life, damage in their family, damage, a car accident. I don't know why I'm seeing, but I'm actually seeing you guys like on a road and then someone went through a car accident and then you guys just happen to be there and you're, you're going to be late for this, whatever, but you feel called to pull over to help them to make the phone call, you don't stay there and go visit them at the hospital later. You make the phone call. You are the one to call call the ambulance to call for help or to provide some moment of, you know, relief 
and then you get in the car and you continue on. That's what your life has to look like. You guys are a compass to help people to get the hope, the love, the healing, the message that they need at the right place at the right time. That's a massive part of your purpose for being here on earth. But if you stay too long in a situation after you've served your purpose, it will become detrimental to your being. And if you absorb it and take it on, it will become toxic to your spirit and toxic to your energy. Spirit says again, don't linger and stay in a space longer than you have to. You have to move forward. You're getting, you're starting to get defensive. You're starting to get drained. You're starting to, um, you know, uh, be defeated is the word that is I just heard. Eight of Cups reversed and the Star card upright along with Nine of Wands and Six of Air. It's, you have to, you gotta let it go. You, you served your purpose. You showed up in a space of love. Spirit says that we acknowledge what you have done. We acknowledge what you have contributed, but that is not where you're meant to be. That's not where you're meant to stay. I'm seeing the space of your help. You literally will meet people at faded points in their life and their journey to help give them direction so that they can be right back onto the compass so that they can be pointed to their true north. But you're not meant to stay there and continue to spoon feed them through that process. You did you did what you had to do. You did what we were we wanted you to do. And now it's time for you to move forward. But spirit, okay. I was just about to say that. Four of Water says this group has been of service for so long and is not happy with their path, is not happy with the circumstances all the time. It feels almost like it's, I just heard, it's draining. It's draining on me. Number one, Spirit says drink more water. <laughs> I don't know why, but this group is a bit more um, dehydrated. Yes, we have the Sun card. Spirit says and two of air. Okay, so... Pause, drink more water, rest, restorative activity. There's something more to the sun card, healing. There's something more to the sun and depression. Okay, this group goes pretty deep. You're absorbing, pause. You are absorbing the energy of the world, duh. You are absorbing the energy of the world that is what spirit is saying spirit says pull pull them out how do we fix this so i'm also feeling the chest um constriction in the chest spiritual protection Adver uh, strength through it through adversity perseverance it's lonely that's what I just heard it's lonely it's a desert out here drink more water I'm seeing spirit this group this pile has to go to I'm getting this the sense of a medicine woman or medicinal healing um I'm almost getting the space of um, a more a vegetarian or vegan diet, um, but with lots of fats, like fatty oils in it, in order to make sure that your body is getting sustenance. Um, I just heard a little goes a long way. So you, it's anything that has had any type of trauma to it does not need to continue to stay in this in your body space. So if you're eating meat, take a break from it, take a pause from it. There's no judgment here, um, but Spirit is saying we, we, we're we trying to preserve you. There's this word of, 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 of preservation, like preserving, preserving. Um, I'm hearing red flag, red flag, red flag. So Spirit is saying, okay, so there's these beings, right? There's these beings walking the face of the earth. You're one of them where, you know, you are there to, you're like a little soldier of love and light. And because you're so special to the divine, because you're there to, to guide people, there's like a like there's like a force that goes to look out for you to make sure that you're good. Spirit is saying right now, this person might not necessarily be good. They need someone to come through, like a medicine woman or medicine, medicinal healing to help um, pull them back up. It's like a soldier that's been on the battlefield 
And part of it is because you stayed too much in a space where you don't belong or you've been without something that you've needed, but you've been providing for so many other people. So four of fire, ace of cups. This is the hearth. This is the home. This is emotional fulfillment. This is rest without having an expectation, without having to show up for others. You show up for yourself or other people show up for you. There, you don't need to expect them to have the right words to say. In fact, it's best if no one says anything to you other than I love you, I'm here for you, and I can't understand or relate to your journey, but I want to hear what the experience has been like for you. That's what it is that you need. You need to be he heard. You need to be seen. You need, also need a space of to be held. Um, I'm also seeing a space of um, you going to spirit, you going to the divine, you going to your ancestors again, and working your magic either through a quiet prayer or through a through an oil or a candle and a white candle um and then you really putting it out to the, to the divine for them to come through and to help to heal you right now yeah i just with the queen of swords that just came through says stop trying to do it yourself you're capable but no the boundary actually has to be with yourself right now the boundary turn needs to turn into balance. You you don't need to be out there doing everything by yourself. I respect the Queen of Swords energy. I, I, I respect her strength. But also, no. At the same time, you know, it's, it's, too, it's too harsh. The sun right here is no longer restorative as much as the deception just jumped out. Which we got to talk about that. But the sun is no, no longer um, restorative as much as it is harsh. That's why I'm hearing drink more water. Put it on pause for yourself. Pay, okay. Pay attention to the red flags, deception, and free yourself. So um, I just feel like you're you are in a spot, in a space. For some of you guys, it's too long. You linger, you're lingering in it too long because you're just like, well, I really, I was helping them, or I was you know, and then helping turn into loving and loving turn into whatever. And, you know, and spirit says, listen, we don't want you to stay there. We don't want you to stay in that space. Um, also with the deception card, I'm getting this sense of you're deceiving yourself accidentally. You're deceiving yourself by what things look like, which means if you keep seeing like, okay, if you keep seeing yourself showing up for other people or being available to other people of, or being someone's bright beacon of love and light in their life and then you just, you start to feel like that's all that it can be, that's all that your experience on earth is going to be, that's not the case. That's not the way that spirit wants it. Spirit says, you got to move forward. Right when things, when you show up and you, not everything and everyone is going to be a permanent thing. You're literally there to make permanent change. You're not meant to permanently stay there. You're meant to make permanent change there. So once that happens, you move forward. You're almost believing that your, your purpose and your life are going to be the same. Your purpose adds some level of meaning to your life, but it doesn't define your life. And your 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 work and your gift to other people is not going to be all of your life. That's one aspect of your life. My hair is just doing whatever it wants right now. So spirit says you you keep showing up in this role. You keep showing up in this way. And I'm actually hearing someone flushing that down the toilet. As impactful and meaningful as it is, you have to release it and let it go and move forward because spirit says that you are not just your purpose. You are not only just your purpose. In fact, if you keep showing up for people in this way and only expecting that, expecting that for your experience, you are going to get drained, depleted, and it will get dysfunction, dysfunctional really fast. And spirit says, medicine woman time. Medicine woman time. You are an extraordinary being of love and light. But you are an extraordinary, extraordinary being of love and light for everyone else. And you need to have an ex extraordinary being of love and light come into your life. Or extraordinary circumstances 
that are loving and of light stay and stick with you. Spirit wants that also for you. If you have been, if you have a legacy of showing up and making such meaningful change, then shouldn't you as a human being, wouldn't it be fair and wouldn't it make sense for you to also receive the same level of support, love, and acknowledgement that you have given to other people? There's, okay, Spirit is saying with the devil card. Mm. Mm. <laughs> with the devil card reversed and the seven of air reversed blackberry and eucalyptus and then strength card with the garlic here this is the card that is upright this card says actually i'm getting this massive space of i forgive i forgive you i don't want to hold on to this any longer i don't want my experiences I don't know to shape is what it is that I'm hearing to shape to shape what I don't want my experiences to shape me I don't want my experiences to what I've experienced what I've seen to shape who I am same card again you're out in the desert right now yeah I just heard you show up, show up for where we put you, but don't continue to show up where we put you. That means that when we cross paths, when you cross paths with certain people, show up, heal it, make it better, do what you have to do in that moment. But when it's time for you to move forward, you got to move forward because this is wearing you down your purpose, your family, or whatever, whatever this means for you, it's wearing you down. So let's move forward. There is a deeper meaning, a deeper reason for who and what came into your life. And instead of thinking in your head, or believing in your head because you're deceiving yourself that that is all that you will experience because of all of how you've shown up for others you have to realize that you have to forgive and that's the thing too when other people have sh when you have shown up for people and they and you gave you really did move from a space of love and light and you gave so much to that relationship to that thing to that job to whatever it is that that circumstance um, and they couldn't give it to you. They almost backlash back at you, you know, or hurt you or like lash at you. Don't take it personally. Again, you are a different breed of a person. So, and when you show up for people in this way, you're coming to them at moments in their life where they are, they, they, they're just trying to survive. Like they're literally in survival mode and you are meant, you're like an angel, so, and you might catch them at a spot where they're not their highest self. Chances are you're not going to catch them at a, at a chance when you're at. Look at this, you guys. You guys can't see this, but my birds. That's so cute. I gave them a little um, pool of water, and they're just in there just bathing themselves. And I just think that that's... Meanwhile, the other one's drinking the water and the other one's having some bird seed. So they're really replenishing themselves. They're really out there living their best lives right now. And that's what I'm seeing for you guys. You are building, you are rebuilding home, things, and yours. What is yours? What spirit wants and has in store for you? But right now, spirit is saying, listen, ten of fire, ten of ten of fire, ten of wands reversed, and also two of cups reversed. The, the, the burdens of these past relationships or past circumstances are things that you showed up for that, you know, didn't work. Don't hold on to it because you're going to be building new baskets. You're going to be building new fruit. There's new fruit. Look at this, the world. You are literally evolving, you are learning, you are growing, 
You are gifted. You are prosperous. You're, you have prophecies. There's certain prophecies and visions over your life that spirit sees that have to come to fruition. Wheel of Fortune. I'm not even surprised to see this. Everything comes full, full circle, full cycle. I'm seeing at the time of me, you know, a time of you watching, watching this, things coming into your life to restore you, to replenish you, to remind you that you, again, are not just your purpose. You're also a human being. And there's certain things that need to be not shared with the rest of the world um, because people would literally try to take advantage of it or whatever. Okay, there's certain things that is that you need to see. Um, look at what's missing. Okay. I got to turn this down. Look at what is missing from your life right now, this pile. And that's the thing that Spirit says, this is what we're going to start working on for you. Seven of, yep. Because you have been queen of air. You have been queen of swords. You've been so accustomed to doing it on your own. Look at the areas, yes. Look at the areas of your life that you're not happy with, that you're bored with, that are not replenishing of your energy. You are not meant to continue to come into a space where you're always there for everyone else. You know, there's something that needs to come through. This being, this thing, this person, this job, this life is meant to be abundant. Definitely, and especially if you're someone who does so much for others, not that it's connected in any way. I see you getting the spark back. I see you getting, building your energy back. That You have love yourself first. You have chemistry here. The more that you are giving to yourself right now and the more that things that are good for you, that are that literally spirit gives, that's the other thing too. This pile needs to hear. This is the one thing that needs to come that you guys give a lot of yourself to other people. When spirit says the things that are missing, right? You have seven of earth here, seven of pentacles. So seven, eight, nine, ten. Three things. You might have needed to listen to group number one. There are three things that need to come into your life. Three things, three missing pieces. Three major missing pieces, okay? That when we give this to you, you cannot share it with the rest of the world. This is something that is just yours. It doesn't belong to the rest of the world. It belongs to you. Okay. You deserve love, honeymoon, trust, release your ex. Look, forgiving and learning and attraction. So there are certain things and that the root of this reading is the wedding card um, or at the um, bottom of this. So I am seeing a spiritual bath. I'm seeing you drinking water. I, I'm seeing... Look, Four of Cups is here, so water, we have Six of Cups here, restorative. These cards, and then we also have the Page or the Knight of Cups, I can never remember what this is. We have Sweetgrass here. So we also, oh my goodness, look, these two birds are taking a bath in the, in the water just like my birds were. But I'm seeing this space of um, emotional, spiritual replenishment. Um, there's, I'm just getting the sense of there's three core things that are missing um, in your life that spirit is now trying to work to bring in. It's during this, because you're not meant to be this person just out there in the fields doing everything by yourself. You are meant to be supported. You are meant to have help. You are meant to have love. You are meant to have health, vitality, strength. And you can only do that if you, but again, it's almost like a pact. Universe says, or divine says, that if we give this to you, we do not want you to put it out there and share it with the world. We do. This is something that literally is going to be all for you. And let me. I have. I feel really called to shuffle these cards for you guys. Also, I'm getting this space. I just heard despair. If you have aspects of your life that you are just in despair over, that you feel will never come through, that will never happen, that will never change for the better, I'm just getting a sense of forgive, forget, move on. Um, again, forgive the circumstances that because you are a human being and you have these human needs of things that, is that you wanted, forgive and but we we still saw that you had to you know show up for something or someone wow um to help to heal them and to make it better you know it's we haven't forgotten about you like you have this space of despair because you feel like it will never happen but right now you are you know okay wow 
yeah, honestly, it's hard being a spiritual being of light. I know, because I am one. Um, and my purpose is really strong in my life, too. But release all anger, that means that you guys have been holding on to a lot of frustration, disappointment, hurt, and suffering, or things that is that you've also seen, things that is that you, the things that is that you've experienced. You've been the bigger person. You've been the person of love and light, and it starts to wear on you over time. So spirit is saying, release that through this act of forgiveness, and realize, you know, why you were there. Have this epiphany. Have this awakening. Um, and also, I'm seeing new energy coming in with this new idea card here. Um, so funny it says your new idea is divinely guided and is meant to be shared with others spirit literally like almost highlighted that and says do not share it with others what we are trying to give you open your heart to receiving so, you know your potential for greater love rests in opening your heart blockages and wounds from your past will be healed and you will be met with the true passion you seek there's three things that it is that you are seeking there's three things that you are hoping to attract there's three things that need to come into your life but do not share it with the rest of the world. This is your gift. Okay, your new idea is divinely guided and is meant to be shared with others. Continue to work on it as you are on the right path. So that's the thing too, is that release, release it, but don't share it. This is something that is all yours. You guys also chose the book. This reminds me of privacy a lot because there's some things that in order for you to understand the book, you have to read the book. In order for you to read the book, you have to find it, stumble upon it, hear about it, know it. Then you have to open it. You know what I mean? So it's like you don't just look at a book and gain everything. Aww. You are lovable. You are healed. So, yeah. I just love those cards. And then also one last thing for this group. I don't think I did this for other. I did. I did, actually. Yep, spiritual warrior. It says be a spiritual warrior, but the reality is, is you are. It's just emphasizing. Be still and go within. As I'm seeing that, I'm definitely thinking the seven of pentacles. So it's just, what is it that's missing? What is it that's missing? Forgive the areas of your life where you tried to fill that. Happiness at hand. So sunflower borderland, hidden realms open, and static situations, static conditions. So it kind of reminds me of the desert that I was showing before where it just seems like, how am I going to survive this? How am I going to live through this? And Spirit says, listen, the three things that are missing, that are missing from your life right now are the three things that we are going to work to give to you. Um, but you need, to, you, know, you need to see it first. And when we see, when you have defined, when you have clearly looked at all the blessings of your life and all the good things that you have, um, maybe make a list of seven blessings, seven major blessings that you have in your life, and then think about the three things that are missing. Keep them written. Keep them in the records. Um, don't share with the rest of the world, but put it out there. When you see it and you call it out, spirit will work to, to bring it into your life, but also at the same time, um, especially because the Virgo new moon is about attention to detail. Um, it's about attention to detail and specifics. So, um, for those of you guys who are like, why did she just flip that over? I don't know. I just don't think those are your cards. But, um, yeah, so I see you writing them down, journaling them, and being open to, not being open to receiving them, but preparing to receive them because, yeah. And Six of Pentacles says, you know, be open, give and take, give and take. Give and take a little bit more. Okay, one last message for this group, and then I'm going to head off. Yeah, it would be detrimental for you to continue to show up in life for the world in this way without there being replenishment for you. Um, so this anger, frustration, this anger that, that you're holding on to stems from hurt, stems from you having to do so much for people who can have only shown you so little spirit says re find relief release it ten of air let it go page or knight of wands you know is here but i'm also seeing you guys getting your energy back getting your life back 
Also finding your spark again. Yep, awakening. Because I feel like you really have to see things for what for what they are and be able be open to, you know. And I not only that, but you're helping other people to see. You know, things that they would never have been able to see with before you, but now they see because of you. But that's not going that shouldn't be in a space where it becomes detrimental to you. Okay? All right, my loves. So that's your reading for now. Um if there's, because um, you guys have been asking for this too, if there's something that I can recommend for you within the shop, I recommend the protection oil, <laughs> hands down. The protection oil, I recommend a protection bath soak, well, any of the bath soaks to be honest with you. The full moon bath soak would be amazing. Um, whether it's a full moon or a new moon, it's the herbal mix, because the herbs that, are, that I, um, use in there will there will, will be there to gain clarity and to help you to emotionally re release some of the, the the trauma that you have accidentally been holding on to simply because of the things that you've seen in in your life or the experiences so it's there to help you to release that um, also part like parchment paper is something that's coming through so setting intention yes Let's see water eight of water and eight of cups or the moon card and eight of cups. So this is really about, see what I'm saying with the full moon, the full moon soak, the, the herbal soak. It will really help you to, and the third eye oil will definitely help. Um, and the protection oil. So yeah, emotional stability, emotional support, emotional healing, power, emotional power, you know, from your intuitive power and also your ability to receive and, and, and protection as you are out here moving about the earth because there's a lot going on. And I'm also seeing how this group has kind of internalized, you know, people's ache and suffering, you know, and traumas. And you were there. You were the one that was there. All right. So I hope that makes sense, you guys. I'm sending you all of my love. Be blessed under the light or the lack there of the light because it's new moon. So um, under the under the Virgo new moon, um, keep me posted in the comments of how you're doing. If you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, I'm going to go ahead and invite you to do that. And I'll see you around Instagram and around here on YouTube. Bye.